called Hideaway. It's basically what if the Night Stalker's powers were real. Mm. It, it turned me on to like Lily, like the soundtrack's badass itself. I mean, you have bands from Fear Factory to Miranda Sex Garden to KMFDM on the soundtrack. It's all fucking badass. It's like God Flesh even has a cameo in it. Yeah. And it, ha it stars uh, Jeff Goldblum, Alicia Silverstone, and Jeremy uh, Sisto. And you know him, and you know him better as uh, Dreamy Hands from uh, May. Yeah. He was also in that show that Jeffrey Dammit was in, you know, Wicked City. I was about to say, uh, Fear Factor? No, no. <laughs> yeah, Wicked City. I forgot yeah. he was also in there. Yeah, he, uh, the main guy in that show, the cop, he plays Masago. That's him. Yes. He's so dreamy. He was even cooler. It was uh, one of those DC animated movies. Uh -huh. One that takes place in the 50s. Mm -hmm. He's a, He was the voice of Batman. It's the same one that had Lucy Lawless as Wonder Woman. That's pretty gangster, right? Yeah. But uh, you'll enjoy this movie because, A, you're a fan of Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Yes. You should have led with that. All right, you ready to start this shit? Okay. You get, are you getting license blitz, Layla? Yeah, I'm pretty high right now. Oh, I don't. This is the movie I was thinking about, and he kills himself by doing push-ups on this knife. And this cool double double knife. Yeah, I remember this movie. 1995 CGI. Does that mean Spawn and this movie are in the same universe? No, they just have the same shitty graphics designer. She sure disappeared, didn't she? Well, what would you expect when your career kicked off from being in music videos? Like, Liv Tyler could get away with it. Her dad's the guy in the band. You're just a nobody. <laughs> Playing Ryan Sex Garden. There's no other goth band except Susie that's better than this band. After only good album, Fairy Tale and Slavery. Why did pick them in this shit? Because it'll never be Shut up. See the director is? Director Tank Girl. All the this is just house tequila. She's in his band. I want to hang out with Jeff Goldblum. He is baddie. This movie's rated R, right? Yes. Yeah, I think it was on late night when I was in like, when I was like a freshman or I was in middle school. And it was right around the time where I like, started masturbating and I stayed up super late to watch like Showtime or HBO. In this situation actually, they would bring up his temperature and then bring it down again and then they'll bring it up again. Don't ask me how I know that. And this I don't understand though. If you do a defibrillator with. Yeah, look how cheap this looks. It's about to be embraced within the heavenly light. And maybe bring him back to this horrible fucking rock collar. Oh my god, it's Dr. Octopus. That's Doc Ock from the, uh, you know... Spider-Man movies? Yeah, yeah from Spider-Man 2. That's yeah. Doc Ock. I've only seen, like, part of Spider-Man. That, that, it came out around the time where I refused to watch TV or any sorts of media because I knew it was brainwashing me. Oh my god, he's so dreamy. Is every one of my reviews just, like, <laughs> me just splooshing? Yes. Because I feel like that's every one of my reviews. It's just me thinking with my mind in the gutter. Did you see what her tickets were for? Pearl Jam. Yeah. Hell yeah. Party up inside. Woo! Gonna go see Pearl Jam. Yeah. Now it's Dad Rock. Now it's totally Dad Rock. And he's the last grunge guy. There can be only one. The last grunge guy living. Like, basically, like... But no, that's why he switched the country, because he knows if we stuck to grunge, he was gonna die. Because even bands don't hurt like... Imagine telling someone in 1997, like, Eddie Vedder was gonna be, like, a country music star. It looks like Downtown Orange. The circle. Yeah. Yeah. This is mostly filmed in Orange because it takes place in that area. Like, you know who needs to... So are we going to see Dreamy Hands again? See, this movie, it suffers from the same... Oh, that's in Fullerton. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, it, it is, huh? It or... totally is. No, they just passed the Zoot Suit place. I think I, I think that's where, roughly, where Ipso is. I sound like a Californian now. Dreamy Hands! Look how young he was. What 90s trope does it suffer from? Because this is before, this is two years before Scream. I know, but I'm saying it's the every, it's not even a horror movie, it's just like every movie in the 90s, is in the 90s or this a specific time in the 90s reminds me of a painting in a doctor's office. Yeah, that's definitely the 90s, mid 90s to a T. Or it's, like, it's kind of bland, like music wasn't heavy anymore, it was kind of like. It was bland. And it's not bland, but like you can tell what they're trying to go for, and you appreciate the work that's been put into it. And you and you pretend to like it. And you pretend to like it because everyone else likes it. But you really don't. Yeah, and then all you do is just kind of rip off the perfume samples inside the ma ladies' magazines in the doctor's office. That's what this reminds me of. Exactly. Fucking God flesh. Oh. Imagine just seeing old man Goldblum at the golf club. This is before Bar Sinister. He is fucking cute. He's dreamy hands. He's dreamy hands. I'm gonna meet him one day and I'm like, I'm gonna, hi, my name is Layla, how are you? You'll touch me, I'm like, ah. Dreamy hands. <laughs> You'll go over to shake my hand also and I'll just cream my pants. You just know him as dreamy hands from... It's like, you're dreamy hands. No, my name is so-and-so. I'm like, no, but I call you dreamy hands because you gave me a hand fetish. Ah! He has his hair all curly. Look at him! He's so cute. He's so fine. He had a gun pointed at a cop. That's some white ass shit. The cop doesn't give a fuck. He pulled a gun on me. I'm gonna put a cigarette in your house. You know, this is actually a pretty good, like, Jeff Goldblum role when he's not being 
just Jeff Goldblum, you know? You mean you mean him actually acting? Him actually acting, instead of just being like a novelty actor. That, that, this is pretty cool. Yeah, he can actually act. He's not being, you know, his Jurassic Park character. That's bad acting right yeah, there. Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, right when I compliment, he brought it out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a good thing to notice. It's like he can actually act and then turns into Jeff Goldblum again. Oh, yeah. That's one way to say about this movie. You know what Highway 90 is, right? No. Imperial. Oh, you go down far enough, you get to Walmart. Jeremy, you're never gonna make friends if you keep on killing people like this. What's this movie did bomb, dude? This gonna make uh, Jeremy Sisto a big horror icon like um, Freddy Krueger. Mm-hmm. Would he be considered a horror actor? Well, he always done he's only done this. And May, where he plays the opposite. Masaga would marry uh, May. They would be a cute couple if you think about it. May only killed because she was lonely. I'm not going to touch my face. I'll touch your face. But, but can you help him kill? Power of good. Don't fuck with me! I have the power of God and anime on my side! Wait, do you... Ah. Release the god! Ah. How cheap is this look? Early CGI. That's from the stand. No fair, you gotta help from God. I demand a rematch. All right, what were your thoughts? I've seen it before. Okay, it was funny because you told me about it. I'm like, oh, I've seen it. I've totally... And then you showed me the trailer. I'm like, you know, this isn't the movie I saw. Never mind. I was wrong. And then we watched the movie. I'm like, no, I was initially right. It totally was the movie I was thinking about. After seeing it, after not seeing it for like 20-something years, it has aged horribly. Ah. Like, the CGI is bad. Hey, shush. Sure, sure. Of course it was. It's the time. It was basically all they had. The two other characters were annoying, mm -hmm. as all of them are. And most importantly, and you agree with me, and I know you'll agree with me on this one, not enough Visago. Mm. Not enough Dreamy Hand. You know, he has a worker's hand. Someone who's, like, really honed in on their craft.